Well, welcome back to another Idiot in His Garage. As I promised, the garage is all now set up and we're ready to do some more mods. So today we're gonna to be doing uh, an unboxing video of a new head unit for the 350. And then we're gonna go through fitment and how good the actual stereo is. So the head unit that I've actually chosen is the SPH DA230 DAB by Pioneer. Right, let's unbox it and see what we've got inside, shall we? Let's have a look. And now I wanted, this has got Android Auto and it's got um, Apple CarPlay. So like my old unit, I want to be able to do sat nav all these bits and pieces and the phone connects to it and does all the bits and pieces. We hope. Let's see how we get on. So we've got the USB extension, which you can plug your phone into, all the power cables, uh, a microphone, uh, a set of keys for unlocking it and a load of bolts, a instruction book, instruction manual on CD, didn't think we still did those sort of things, and more books, more paperwork, and all those bits. Right, let's actually get it out of the box here. We can have a look at the unit. So I originally was gonna go for a Kenwood head unit. Unfortunately, um, Kenwood are suffering with all these new chips and stuff at the moment. So, I took some advice and I was advised to get this Pioneer. So, as you can see, it's quite a nice unit, obviously doubled in. I think that'll look really good in the 350. Right. So what we've got to do is, I'm going to take the car apart. You don't need to see me do that. I'll just do that on a quick time motion and then we'll start getting this fitted. Okay, so that's the old unit all out, all the dashboards apart. You can see all the wiring from the stereo we was running, which we're gonna take all out and all those bits and pieces. As you can see it goes all through the car. So we're gonna take all of that out. We don't need any of that. And then we will be fitting the new unit into this unit here, which I think should fit really nicely with the screws. We'll give that a go. Um, check all of our wiring and stuff like that. Okay, so what we've done is we've taken off all of the wiring from the old stereo. We don't need any of that. And we're left over with, obviously, ISO connector that I've already put in, which gives you these two. So then you get the new connector, which is this the Pioneer connector, and plug in, let's see if I can show you what I'm doing while I'm doing it. And it's a simple case of plug in into that because this is the converter the iso converter is all this lot so there you go that's all converted across now we can plug that into the back but what we do need to do we have here really nicely they have put in what each of these things do so we've got a remote wire which we've got to connect in a second over here which is for our amplifier for the sub in the back um, we have the reversed wire well we're not going to be using that a mute wire which we're not going to be using and I believe this one would be the handbrake connector. Let's have a look. Yeah, so that's the parking brake. So basically, you're not supposed to use these head units when you're um, driving because obviously it could be a distraction. If you then connect this to an earth, which we've got a nice little earth over there, we'll connect this across and it will think that we are not traveling. So that means we can view it at all times. Right, so let's start connecting some of these things up and you can follow along. Now I don't always solder my connections, sometimes you use these crimps, but you've got to use the proper stuff. So these are very good cutters and splicers. He says he can't cut it, there we go. Right, and then pull a little bit of sheath back so you can, I might have to turn it up a little bit. Oh, there we go, probably a bit too much. Took a bit of wire with that, Let's turn the power down a bit. Right, so that's our start. Now what we're gonna use is one of these bullet connectors because we don't want anything to come out of it. Um, 
and it's only got to join two wires. So I'm going to get one of my red bullet connectors because it's not a, a big cable. And then guess our, uh, it's the smallest one. I'm going to line it up, make sure your wire's in there and squeeze. Which has done absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'm going to use my cutters on this. Look. Try to anyway. Okay, we've got a good connection there. We're also going to wrap this in um, tape as well. So we're looking, this is the remote wire. And strip that back a bit, a bit more. So we can double it over. Give us a little bit more to bite to. And again, with the blue wire, feeding it right in, and then using the cutters again to crimp it closed. Right, good connection there. I'm gonna get some tape and tape that up as well, so that's then done. Break a bit off, and just insulate it all the way around. Now that was the original uh, um, remote wire, but this one comes with a special one, so we don't have to worry about that. And then what else did we have? We had our mute, we're not sure we're gonna use a reverse gear, we're not gonna use. And then we've got this nice long cable for your handbrake. So like I say, this needs to go to an earth. So we're gonna shorten it because obviously our earth point is only here, so we've got a nice earth there. So we're going to use that, shorten this right down because we don't need a long cable on it, but we are going to keep the whole uh, thing on the end of it. So normally with a scotch lock, what you do do is you have a pair of pliers. And the pair of pliers obviously locks it down and makes it cut. So I'm going to use a pair of pliers to try to lock it in place and then put the lid down. Like I say, this is not like any other scotch lock I've ever seen before. And, well, it seems to have worked, hopefully. There we go. And it's on. So that should be our earth sorted. Okay, so I haven't bought a DAB aerial. I am gonna do that at another point, but I haven't done that this time. Okay, we've got a normal aerial and we've got a microphone here. We're going to replace this microphone because this is the microphone that came with my old um, Android head unit. So this goes all the way, all the way down here, all the way along, all the way up here to get to here. Okay, up to here. So I'm going to have to take all that out. I'm sure you're not going to need to see all of that. Okay, so we've got the old microphone out, which came out all the way down through here, all the way through here, across, and then into the center console. So I'm just going to run the new cable now and then cable tie it up out of the way so it doesn't catch on anything. Okay, so what we've now got to do is try refitting the microphone, which is the new microphone, through all of that. It shouldn't be too difficult. We've got loads of cable tops. It's got a nice little 3M thing to stick it up there. It's also got a very nice big clip, which we might use the big clip, okay? We're going to worry about one running the wire first. I'll fast forward this section because I'm sure you don't need to see me running a cable. So all I've got to do is tidy up this cable here 
because so it goes all the way across. So I'm just going to dig myself out a couple of cable ties. Okay, so I've got some little cable ties. I'm just going to cable tie this up out of the way now. I'm cable tying to mostly original cables and bits and pieces like that, just to keep it out of the way so it doesn't get caught in any of the controls. You don't even really need to look, you can feel where the cables are. And into this one, and then we're just gonna tidy up this piece here because we've managed to pull it down while we've been messing about with it. Now what we're gonna do is put the kick board back in. Line it up. Okay. You can't back on. Now the other thing that we want with this is we want the external or the extension USB. So I want to run that and I'd like to have my phone sit inside this cubby hole. So we're going to see if that wire is going to fit through there. Okay, so we're going to try doing this. So I've not even looked how this connects on. I'm just going to undo it. So I'm guessing, actually, the USB on that must just plug straight into the back. Let's have a look at the head unit itself. Yeah, so it plugs directly into the back of the head unit. So that's gonna go from there and hopefully back into that unit. So this cable needs to come. It looks like it should be long enough. So basically what we're going to do is the head unit will obviously be sitting here we're going to run the cable all the way along here into this cubby hole let me take all the wrap out of the cubby hole okay now this car originally came with the bluetooth control box so there is a lovely little cable hole that comes with it let's take out the everything out of it all right, so this used to have the Bluetooth section. Now, I never had the Bluetooth section, but it would have come with it originally. Now you can see, it leaves that lovely hole down here. So this would have been the original Bluetooth. Okay, we're not obviously using that, but we are gonna run our cable through there and bring it up. So that means the phone will plug into there and you won't have to touch anything. So basically you'll plug the phone in and it will just sit there like that, which would be quite nifty and out of the way. Obviously, we want the male section to sit in there, so we're going to push that through the bottom up to where the head unit will be. Okay, hopefully you can see what I'm doing there. And now we're going to cheat a little bit because we can actually push the wires up through the centre console. So basically all we've done is we've pushed it up inside there doesn't come back down. What we do need to do is move the seat, undo this one screw so we can then push this up and then get it into there. We might be able to, oh, there's enough movement. We might be able to do that. Let's give it a quick go with the little bit of maneuver that we've got down here. Push it up. Can we see this coming through? Look, there it is. That's really cool. So we haven't had to undo any of the bolts or anything like that. And there's our cable. So that's come up, that's really cool. Okay, so we've gonna got ourselves a connector for the phone, plugged that into the USB. Now we just wanna see how big we want this cable. Because we don't want it, let's say we've got all this cable hanging around, it's not gonna be very nice, is it? It's just gonna be a pain in the ass. So we're just gonna check and then make it all push down inside the centre console. So you don't have to worry about it. He says, I'm just gonna fold it in. So I think that's enough cable. Okay, so like I say, I think that's about perfect. So we're gonna put that down there. We're gonna use our original Bluetooth hole there. And there we go. We have our connector. So that can sit in there like that. Let's take out the original head unit. 
Okay, so we're gonna take these screws out of here, take that out, and then we'll be able to see what we can do. Right, so there is the old head unit. That can go outside. We don't need that one anymore. Now what we do want to do is see, let's take this cage off because we don't need the cage, I don't think. Off. I'm not really that interested in this because hopefully we'll use the original. So we're taking that off. Slide it all the way back. It says, Try not to damage the front of the head unit. Right, now what we're hoping is this in its entirety will roll into here. Which I think it will, but I think we need to lose this plastic surround. Which could be interesting because it's made for this unit. Let's see what we can do. Does this one come off? Okay, so surround actually unclips. So you've unclipped that surround, and we're going to see if it will slide into here now. I think we might be quite lucky looking at this. I think this unit will go straight in. Look at that. Straight in, perfect fitment. So we get our sub, and that one goes in. Do the wrong one then, right, red and white. And we have an aerial connector as well. Now, these things are quite short on my car actually. So unfortunately, it's very difficult for me to show you. Hopefully you can see my aerial connector. Like I said, I haven't done a DAB. And then we've got our USB connector, which is going to go over to this side. So, let's find our main harness connector. Here it is, look. See, I didn't give it any power. That's not going to go down well, is it? Let's face it. Right, so we plug that in. As you can see, we've already started getting some power. So let's just try sliding this back into the right place. We'll fettle it in properly later. All we're basically doing is just pushing it back to, so we can see if it's all working. So yes, we'll go English, DBS antenna, no. Does antenna require power? Okay. So let's see if we get any channels. We're in the garage, so I very much doubt we're going to find anything, but we'll give it a go. Okay, let's show you what you can do. Obviously, I can't play you any audio. Okay, so we've actually gone straight onto Waze, because I've already been playing with around with this. So I've messed about with the menu. Hopefully, I can get you in focus quite nicely on here. So I've played around with the menu, and I've actually put what I use most. So you've got Waze at the top. Okay, then you've got Amazon Music, obviously phone, WhatsApp, uh, Facebook Messenger, other maps if I didn't want, if I wanted to use Google, more messages and settings. There's loads and loads of bits and pieces, you've got Customize and you've got Pioneer. I didn't think much of the Pioneer app, but it all works really, really well. I mean, if you click on Waze now, load straight up and it's working great. You've got all of the sub menus you've got to the side where you can add your home address, your work address, Save places, petrol station, you can see Torque Moto Caf. There you go, you see, all over the place, all different places that I've been. Obviously, because it comes through from the phone, it obviously remembers where I've been. Also, Amazon Music, and here we go. Straight onto my um, playlists, uh, stations, playlists. It's got everything you could possibly want on there, which is really cool. I can't play you any music, obviously, like I said, because it's um, copyright infringement. Bluetooth audio, 
and obviously we can play music through there as well. So you can play the phone. Uh, it actually, not only is it coming through for um, your phone to make phone calls and bits and pieces, but I can just go via Bluetooth audio. I can go straight onto my Amazon Music and play my Amazon Music, which is really cool. We're not gonna play that because obviously, like I say, copyright rules, but I can go straight onto there and play my music so I don't have to actually even plug the phone in. It's a very, very impressive unit. Um, like I say, we've got this over in the corner here now. So literally all I do is leave that over there. I can lock the phone, leave that where it is, and I can get my messages on here, my music on here, um, Waze, Google Maps. Gotta say, it's a really impressive unit. I would highly recommend you go out and buy one. Okay, so that's the Pioneer head unit now all fitted. I must say I've had a proper play around with it now. The adjustment you've got for your speakers is amazing. Um, I mean, you can put on a high pass filter if you want. Um, there's lots of adjustments for the sub. Um, honestly, getting the really the best out of the speakers you can get out of it. I'm really impressed. Um, Android Auto is working really, really well. Now I've messed about with it a little bit. Um, got Waze on there. It's got... Um, Amazon Music, which I use. So it's a really, really good unit. Um, you can use a USB in the connection as well, which I haven't done. I've done it all through my phone. Um, but I'm gonna say, it looks really good and it looks pretty much what it looked like before, but obviously it's just a Pioneer head unit, not the Android Chinese stuff that I had. But it's all back in. I've got to say, I'm, I'm very impressed with it. I'm very happy with it. Thanks very much. And we'll catch you all again in another Idiot in His Garage. See you again soon.